Hey everyone, I'm here in Poughkeepsie, New York. It lies along the Hudson River Valley, just north of Beacon. It was settled in the 17th century by the Dutch. And then after the Revolutionary War, it was briefly the New York State capital. And then in the 19th century, it was a major whale oil producer. And nowadays it's known for its scenery. It's two bridges, one of which you can walk over. It's breweries, it's waterfront. Let's go. The settlement was colonized by the Dutch in the 1680s, and then in the early 1700s, it grew around the Reformed Church. During the Revolutionary War, Poughkeepsie became the capital of New York when Kingston was burnt to the ground by the British, and the United States Constitution was later ratified here in 1788. In the early 1800s, it became a manufacturing and whale oil producing center due to its location along the river. As a result, wealthy families began to build large weekend homes nearby, with several mansions belonging to the Vanderbilts and the Roosevelts remaining today's museums. Today, the town remains a major commercial center and county seat in the mid-Hudson River Valley area. It has now become a popular place for commuters to New York City because of its affordability, access to the parks, and cultural diversity. Large new housing developments are being built along the waterfront and trendy restaurants are starting to open up. The presence of several higher education institutions around Poughkeepsie has also helped to attract young professionals. It's home to Vassar College, Marist College, and the Duchess Community College of the State University of New York. If you're into the arts, the historic Bardavon Opera House, built in 1869, is the oldest continuously operating entertainment venue in the state. It's now a theater that hosts music, drama, dance, and film events, and is also home of the Hudson Valley Philharmonic Orchestra. The Kaneen Haggett Arts Center is an art space in an old Victorian home that offers classical music concerts, theater productions, and dance lessons. And the Mid-Hudson Discovery Museum provides activities and interactive exhibits aimed at entertaining and educating young children with a focus on early literacy, art, STEM, and health. This is the Victor Juarez Park, located along the waterfront between the two bridges. The walkway over the Hudson Bridge and the Mid-Hudson Bridge on this side. It's a nice pier that I'm on here. Probably great for fishing. Oh, this is great. <laughs> And located further north is the Upper Landing Park that has several structures dating to the 1700s with plaques explaining the history of the Old Port era. This is the walkway over the Hudson, a pedestrian bike path over its old rail bridge. This bridge opened in 1889. This is one of the reasons why I came here. Wow. The 
former rail bridge was closed in the 1970s and was left abandoned until it reopened as a pedestrian walkway in 2009. It's over a mile long, making it the world's second longest pedestrian footbridge and has contributed to the area's economic recovery with increased tourism. attempt to look over the edge. I am deadly afraid of heights. <laughs> so oh my god. So I got caught in this rainstorm. But look at that. <laughs> The waterfront has several dining options, like Mahoney's Irish Pub and Steakhouse, a casual bar that's located inside an old brewery complex. They offer steak and seafood with live entertainment, and it's known for its lively St. Patrick's Day events. The River Station serves American fare and has a large outdoor patio overlooking the waterfront. The Aaron O'Neill's Pub and Grill is near the One Duchess apartment complex that's being built along the waterfront. They have a small outdoor patio overlooking the river. And further south below the Mid-Hudson Bridge is the Shadows on the Hudson, a new American restaurant with a sprawling indoor and outdoor space that has amazing views of the Hudson River. In the center of town, you can visit the Derby, the oldest bar in Poughkeepsie that has been in operation since the 1930s and has an old-timey interior with classic American food and specialty cocktails. There's also plenty of breweries around, like the King's Court Brewing Company that has a great list of local drafts on tap. And the Millhouse Brewing Company is a hugely popular spot that has burgers, sandwiches, and other German fare. They have lots of local beers and a large cocktail menu. And finally, the Blue Collar Brewery is a brew pub with an industrial feel that specializes in craft beers and basic pub fare. Hope you guys enjoyed today's trip to Poughkeepsie, New York. Kind of rainy, but mostly a nice day. And this is why I came. Look at this. It's beautiful. Nice fall day. God, I love the Hudson River Valley. <laughs> Again, video does not do it justice. Worth coming here to walk over the bridge. It truly is stunning. You can see so far out. Wow. <laughs> Today was Monday, I had time off, so a bunch of the breweries were closed, but next time I come here during the weekend, I'm definitely gonna do a brewery hop, because <laughs> they have so many here. Oh yeah. And super affordable too. Unlike some of the other towns along the valley, this one, it's a lot cheaper. There's a lot going for it. You know, it's on the cusp of really blowing up. You know, it has so much going for it along the waterfront, close to the train. You can also tell it's been through a lot. 
I saw some stores that were shuttered. That could be because of COVID. Who knows? But there's a lot to love about this place. I will definitely be back. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Take care.